my name is Dave. I am the Vice President of the Guild Board of Directors. We have a special performance for you coming up here, Guild Got Talent. For over 50 years, Guild has been putting on plays, productions, musicals, things of that nature here in Grand Island at various locations until 2020 hit and all of a sudden the lights went out. 2020 was a trying year for most everybody, including community theaters across the nation. Guilt was no different. We haven't done a live production on this stage right here at Guilt headquarters since February of 2020. We plan on changing that this year in 2021, and I've already made plans for our 21-22 season. But let's talk a little about tonight. Tonight you're going to see some of the greatest volunteers coming together to put on a little show for you. Even though it's virtual, we're going to start off with a little bit of classic Billy Joel with Mark Landis. I'm Mark Landis, and I'll be playing Moving Out by Billy Joel. One thing you always learn at theater in general is that things don't always go your way. And sometimes you need to know who's on first. 
Here's Scott and Julie Miller. Sorry, you uh, appear lost. I I'm the stage manager around here. Are you one of the new stagehands? No. Oh. Well, I know most of the stagehands and actors. Uh, you just didn't look familiar. So? Oh. Well, well, let me introduce myself. My name is Bud Costello. Hello, buddy. Yeah, well, I just wanted to say hello and see if I could help you with anything. Hello. Could I at least get your name, Miss? Um... It's Ms. Ms. Louise Abbott. Got it? Ms. Ms. Got it. Oh, wait, hey, 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 hey. Abbott and Costello. <laughs> you know, yeah, this? right. And they call me Lou. You got that? Lou. Got it. So, uh, so what do you do, Lou? <laughs> Oh, uh, I'm an old-time rock and roll concert promoter oh. looking for a stopover theater for a tour we've got coming through, and I wanted to talk to the uh, owner of this theater. Uh, well, they're not here right now, but if I can get some information, I'll make sure that they reach out to you. So, so what kind of a concert is it? Well, it's a fundraising concert oh. with acts from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Oh, cool, cool. Sounds good. Sounds mm -hmm. uh, what's a fundraising for? People dying. Oh, that, yeah. It's very sad. Dying from what? Thirst. Oh. <laughs> so, so, uh, how's this concert? Who, who are some of the bands that are going to be playing? Oh, uh, we have John Lennon's widow, Yoko Ono, The Who, The Doors, The Police, mm. and, and some other groups. Oh, you like rock and roll music? Oh, I love 80s rock and roll. You know, like, groups like, like, wham! Wake me up before you go, go. I don't want to. Good for you. So, um, so how's the concert going to go? Uh, uh, what band is going to be first? Oh, who's on first? Well, that's what I want to know so I can write it down and give it to the owners. That's what I'm telling you. Who's on first? You're the promoter, right? Right. So you would know the name of the band that's on first? Naturally. So what's their name? The Who. The first band. The Who. The band that's on first. I'm telling you who's on first. What are you telling me? Which is the band? What's the name of the band on first? The Who. Okay, wait. Okay, wait. Uh, I must be missing something. Can you tell me the name of the band that's on first? Who's on first? Okay, you know what? Forget I asked. Can you, can you tell me the name of the group that's on second? Yes. Well, go ahead and tell me. But I just did. You just did what? I told you the name of the group on second. So who's on second? Oh, who's on first? I don't care who's on first. I can, okay, but can you at least tell me the name of the group that's on third? Oh, we don't have a group on third. On third, we have a soloist. Okay, fine, fine. We're getting somewhere. And what is the name? Can you tell me the name of this person? Oh, no. Why not? Why not what? Why can't you tell me their name? I just did. Okay, wait, I'm missing something. Can you tell me the name of the group or the of the person who's playing on third? Oh, no. Okay. All right. Forget it, forget it, forget I asked. Could you, I know, could you at least tell me when do the doors open? Oh, the doors don't open. The doors close. They have to open first. Who's on? First. I don't care who's on first. I want to know. I Look, all you've done since you got here is waste my time. So I am going to have to ask you to leave or I'm going to have to call the police. Oh, they're on fourth. Who's on fourth? No, who's on first? The police are on fourth and then you too. Wait, wait, me too? Whoa, what kind of a concert is this? The kind that is no longer interested in this theater. One of the great things about live theater is just that. It's live. That means anything can happen. Lights can go off. Uh, people can forget their lines. Or one of the musicians stops playing. 
but that's live theater for you, and the show must go on. Singing a cappella to Edwin McCain's I'll Be, here's Brett Peterson. I'm Brett Peters, and I'll be singing I'll Be by Edwin McCain. The strands in your eyes, color them wonderful, stop me and steal my breath. And emeralds from mountains, I thrust towards the sky, never revealing their death. And tell me that we belong together, dress it up. With the trappings of love, I'll be captivated. I'll hang from your lips instead of the gallows of heartache that hang from above. And I'll be your crying shoulder. I'll be love's suicide. And I'll be better when I'm old. The greatest fair in your life. Well, I'm dropped out, I burned up, I fought my way back from the dead. I've tuned in, I've turned on, remember the things that you would say. Yeah. And I'll be your crying shoulder. Love suicide, and I'll be better when I'm older. I'll be the greatest fan of your life. Sometimes that performance bug bites you at a young age. I was a wee third grader when I started getting involved in the theater. Started with guilt in 1993. But after high school and college, some people don't have an outlet to share their talents and that, that urge to perform and show how much you've grown as an artist. That's Sarah Wolf's case here with her flute solo. Hi, my name is Sarah Wolf, and today I'm playing for you The Great Train Race by Ian Clark. Now, this song doesn't sound like a normal flute song. You're going to hear a train. You'll hear the train speed up. You'll hear the train slow down. And if you listen very carefully, you might just hear a train whistle. Thank you. 
When you audition for a Grand Island Little Theater production and come in, they're going to hand you a little bit of the script of the production that they're going to be working on that hopefully you'll be cast in. You'll have to do what's called a cold reading. It's kind of like a blind date. Kind of like the blind date skit that Monica Peters and Norbert Wenzel will be sharing with us. Hi. Hi. Oh, thank you. It is so great to finally meet you. Uh, same here. So, um, what Oh, you... wait. Before you. Sorry. I know that this is rude, but the Bears game is on right now. Do you mind if I check the score? Uh, sure, totally. Oh, thanks. You know, I know that this is an awful thing to do on a first date, but it's late in the fourth quarter and it's do or die if we want to make the playoffs. It's no problem at all. Really? Thanks. You know, I love the Bears. They're so strong this season. Okay, I'm done. That wasn't so bad, was it? No. So what's the score? Packers by seven. Oh, oh. No, you know, it. it's no big deal. It's, it's just a game. So hey, enough about football. Let's hear more about Mr. Mystery. Harry has told me tons about you. Oh man, the pressure's on now. <laughs> <laughs> score one more time. Oh, no worries. Hey, um, you don't mind if I put in this earpiece thingy, do you? Um, it, it won't be distracting. I, I, I promise. Sure. Oh, I'm making the worst first impression, aren't I? Not at all. Oh, I am. And, you know, it's, it's just because it's the playoffs, usually I'm pretty normal. Ah! What? Oh, nothing. Just the line makes this huge hole for A train to run through and then he fumbles the ball after two yards. So the ball, it rolls out of bounds. But hey, we're cool. It's for the playoffs. Who drops the ball on third and long? Now, the entire season depends on one play. That's, that's just horrible. What? What? Pass the ball! What's wrong? Oh, Miller! He won't pass the ball. He doesn't pass the ball this season. Who, hang, who hands it off on third and long? Is he afraid of his receivers? Oh, I'm being loud, aren't I? Um, no. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, you know what? I'm going to make it up to you. I'm going to take you to this little bistro on 11th. It's my absolute favorite place to go. Nobody else knows anything about it. I think you will just love it. It is so precious. Just pass the ball! Oh, Pass the frickin' ball! This is football, not freezing! Uh, listen. How about we um, go to a bar or something and you could watch the game on TV? Oh, no. I, I wouldn't do that to you. You know, the game's almost over. I'm done. I just thank you. I just... I just got a little carried away. Why don't we order? Yes. Oh, Harriet said we should really try. What? <laughs> Your menu crinkled a little. <laughs> I think it will be okay. They, they blew the playoffs. I, but I, uh...
I'm so sorry. Is, is there anything I can do? They suck. Oh, no. <laughs> they don't suck. They do. They suck. <laughs> they're, uh, they're probably just having a bad season. The bears suck. This next performer is no stranger to the Gilt stage. She's been involved with this community theater since as long as I can remember. Singing Loving That Man, here is the vocal stylings of Jeanette Benson. I'm Jeanette Benson. I'm singing Can't Help Loving That Man from Showboat. <laughs> Community theater takes people from all walks of life to make any production run. Our guilt family consists of doctors, lawyers, business owners, and teachers. Like this next teacher, Monica Peters, playing her soprano sax, Kenny G, Forever in Love. I'm Monica Peters, and I will be playing Kenny G's Forever in Love on the soprano sax. Thank 
Production with any community theater takes hundreds of man hours, even behind the scenes. You gotta find a producer, a director, a musical director. If you're gonna build on a musical, someone to build the set, someone to do makeup, someone to assign the costumes, props. This is all done from behind the scenes. And you also need someone to take those dirty costumes to the cleaner. A little bit of phobia of mine. Speaking of phobias, here's Hayden Price in Cena Sutherland with a blind date about a phobia. Hi. It's nice to meet you. You too. Okay. 
Do you want to order? I'm starved. Yeah, me too. Let's go for it. Geez, this menu's enormous. It's got everything. I know. I can never decide when the menu's this big. I am so picky when it comes to ordering. I'm sure you'll find something. Ooh, I'm definitely getting the brisket. How about you? Uh, I don't know. I don't think I want any of this. Are you kidding? This menu's got everything. Here, why don't you try the roast chicken? Uh, too dry. Oh, okay. Um, well, how about the filet mignon? Too moist. Oh. I actually have a tiny case of hygrophobia. Hygrophobia. It's the innate fear of dampness or moisture. Oh, okay. Um, so how about the French onion soup? Hydrophobia. Uh, well, you could try the potatoes. Ooh, uh, too much fiber. Uh, eggplant parmesan. I have, uh, poriophobia. Fear of the color purple. Oh, okay. Um, what about the desserts? You could get the banana split. Well, I do have caprastophobia. Fear of... Constipation. Hmm, <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, what about the sushi? Uh, Japanophobia. It's the... Yeah, yeah, I got that one. <laughs> How about this? It's the Hawaiian fish that my dad just loves. Let me see if I can pronounce this right. Humu humu. Nuku nuku a paua. Yeah, that's it. You should get that. That actually sounds delicious. Perfect. But I was recently diagnosed with a rare case of hippopotamus strosis quipidalia phobia. What? It's the fear of long words. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I know what you could get. Peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> Sorry. What? What's wrong with peanut butter and jelly? Well, I have arachnophobia. Fear of sandwiches. Fear of peanut butter sticking to the roof of my mouth. So what exactly can you eat? Well, not much. I do have cytophobia. Fear of food. <laughs> huh. Hey, seeing as you have all of these dietary restrictions, why did you invite me to dinner? Huh? Let's just skip this and go to a hockey game or something. Ooh, I can't. I'm a pacifist. Play mini golf. Asthma. See a musical. Depends. On what? I have allurophobia. Fear of? Cats. So then what would you like to do? Well, I do have one or two ideas, but I have decidophobia. How about I decide for you? How about I go home and you go home? Oh, I can't. Why not? I have nostophobia. What's that? The fear of staying single for the rest of your life? <laughs> and no, that's apatophobia. No, I have that too, but nostophobia is the fear of returning home. I see. You know, a lot of these phobias flare up on account of my diaphnophobia. Fear of dinner conversations. Yeah, I'm gonna head out. Why? What's wrong? You see, I've recently developed a phobia of my own and it's really flaring up right now, so... Oh, oh yeah? What is it? Maybe I have it too. Phobophobia. Oh, I don't have No, no you don't! Sometimes, you rehearse in the car on the way to the productions. Kind of like our friend Sarah does here, singing what I sing in my car. Hi, my name is Catherine Wilk, and I will be singing what I sing in my car, accompanied by Julie Gustafson. <laughs> Bye. 
about pretending pretending to be someone else you're gonna be that character you're gonna play that person that identity and all those things that go along with that character here's a little skit with myself and Corey Satley all about pretending to be someone you're not <laughs> I mean I didn't even I, know, I, know. I mean seriously geez <laughs> Oh, so uh, <clears throat> all kidding aside, uh, uh, this has been fun. I've, I've enjoyed hanging out with you. Me too. This really has been great. Hasn't it? <laughs> oh, ew, look. There's a fly in my water. Ew, gross. Here, take mine. You are so sweet. Oh, come on. Really? No, I, anybody would have done that. <laughs> Actually, you would be surprised. With the luck I've been having on dates, Really? But you're so smart and beautiful. Oh, please. No, I mean it. You are too good to be true. Oh, come on, Robin, stop it. What? What? Who? What? Who is Robin? <clears throat> uh, I'm, I'm sorry, what, what, do you, what do you mean? You just called me Robin. Who's Robin? <sighs> you have a girlfriend. Uh, no! Uh, uh, no. Uh, then who is she? He. He? He. You're gay? Uh, no! What? Well, yeah, but, uh, okay. Robin's my agent. I I'm an actor. You're gay? Yeah. And then what am I doing on a date with you? Okay, I, 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 look, I'm sorry, but if I would have told you my plan in the beginning, the whole thing would have would have backfired, and, and here's what's really going on. I'm playing Stanley in, in, in a local production of Streetcar, and, and I'm a method actor, and so I need to learn how to method act straight. Method act? Yeah, I mean, I can't be Stanley Kowalski until I know how to uh, <clears throat> woo a woman. 
let me see if I can follow. You have me get dressed up for dinner, drive all the way downtown, get my hopes destroyed, thinking that I finally met a halfway decent guy, all <laughs> so you could get a feel for being straight. Well, yeah, I, 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 I totally don't think that was unfair or anything. <clears throat> oh my God, that was perfect. The ultimate heterosexual dating moment. I got it, I'm in, I'm straight. Stella! Women. Community theater is also a lot about recycling old pieces of furniture and old sets that we might be able to use again. But we gotta have the talent to put the set together and to take these pieces and saw and cut and bang them together into the new set. Speaking of banging on things, here's a couple students from Grand Island Central Catholic doing their little drum solos, Mi Casa Es Su Casa. My name's Michael Rivas. My name's Ian Perellis. And we're gonna be playing Mi Casa Su Casa by Lalo de Villa. Community theater is also all about practice, making sure you know your part, whether it's one line or you're part of the crew or part of the musical pit to make sure that you got everything. And sometimes you gotta practice more than you want to. And sometimes when you practice, it gets interrupted.
as you can see, we have a lot of talent here at Grand Island Little Theater, and we are just itching to get back on this stage, and we're hoping to fill these seats to bring live theater back to the Grand Island community. Once again, my name is Dave Holinsky, Vice President of the Board of Directors here at Grand Island Little Theater, and we hope to see you in October, starting with a big bang. <laughs> Thank you.